Merry Christmas in July, everybody. Today, back at Robert's Christmas Wonderland, getting ready for our first installment of Christmas in July. Entering the store now, as you can see, they have a lot of really cool figurines here. Got Granny here too. You got some ornaments here as well, so we can see the best things in life are rescued. And then we have rag dolls, just like our Chancy Poo at home. Oh wait, that is a curry in life. Persian. I knocked over the Christmas tree. Something I don't have to worry about for chance. Got some more ornaments here, as well as some sleeping puppies and kitties. And these cute little beds here as well. All right, everyone, we are with Josh, who is the head manager here at Robert's Christmas Wonderland. Top elf. Top <laughs> elf. Executive elf. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Earn my ears one day. All right. Thank you for being out here today and having me out here to talk with you. What is the story of this amazing Wonderland? About 50 years ago, Robert just popped into his head this crazy idea of let's put a Christmas store in Florida. Makes sense. He opened a Christmas store down in Pinellas Park. Mm -hmm. It was there for many, many years, a lot smaller than what you see today. And eventually he moved up here to Clearwater and he said, I'm going to have the coolest, biggest Christmas store on this side of Florida that anyone has ever seen. And he did it. He has done it. Store has been awesome for the last 50 years. And speaking of largeness, yeah. how many trees do we have? We have over 200 Christmas trees in here, decorated, undecorated, with lights, without lights, fancy lights, twinkling lights, LED lights, you name it. We've got every kind of tree you could want. Nice. And how often do you get new stuff? New stuff is showing up all the time. Okay. I'll be honest, it's a little quiet in February, mm -hmm. but you know, once we start getting to April, May, June, July, it starts rolling in. By the time we hit September, October, mm -hmm. we are popping. So like weekly, monthly, like what are we talking? Oh, we are talking probably every other week something's coming in. There's something wow. new. I just set up a Christmas tree myself two days ago because it just got here. Very cool. Gorgeous tree too. What tree is that? That tree is an LED Christmas tree that you will see right there, one of those gorgeous white Christmas trees. <laughs> All right, so my next question for you is, how long have you been an executive elf or here as a head manager? I have been with Robert since around 2001. Mm -hmm. Every day here, we are having fun, and it has just been a blast. Nice. What's your favorite part about the store? It's seeing Christmas in general. The best part about the store is seeing the people come in with the smiles on their mm -hmm. face. They come in here because this is a happy spot. This is something that... You know, it's not going to the DMV. I'm not going to get gas. I'm going to the Christmas store today. Yes. And everyone who comes in here, they bring their kids, they come in with grandma, and they just have smiles as soon as they walk in the door. Mm -hmm. And that is the best part. Now, for people that aren't local, that may be out of the state or out of the country, yeah. can they go online? Can they buy stuff? Or We do not have a online website that we sell from. There is just way too much. There are probably over 10,000 ornaments in the next room that we couldn't possibly keep up with it if we had it online. Amazing. So if you want to see it, come on in. Definitely. And where is this located at? We are in Clearwater, Florida at 2951 Gulf to Bay Boulevard. Awesome. Thank you, Josh. Thank you so much. And Merry Christmas. If you guys remember last time, they didn't have the trains out, but they do this year. <laughs> Got the Harry Potter train, the Disney train, and the Polar Express train. The Disney train's $49.95, and they range for $124.95. Uh, yeah, the rest of them are $124.95. We got Flamingo Tree. Lexi said that's her tree. True Florida tree here. Sand buckets for the star. Got a bunch of beachy ornaments here as well. Manatees. I love the beach. The old classic Coca-Cola tree. M dial zero. So for those who may not know, I am actually half Canadian. And I really love this Canadian tree they have this year. I believe they had it last year as well. 
You cannot forget the pickle tree. Tradition for many around the world. We got the Ireland tree here. Well, the shamrocks, the tea, Irish tap dancing. Lexi corrected me, it's Irish step dancing. <laughs> So, my family in Ireland, they're from Waterford. Waterford? Yeah, Waterford. Waterford. Which I believe is also where Waterford Crystal comes from. Mm -hmm. For the bacon lovers out there. You can actually get a piece of bacon as an ornament. You can get your Hershey's, Reese's, Kisses with a giant Hershey syrup. On the top of the tree here. You guys like nutcrackers? Like, sir, do you have a bunch of different kind of nutcrackers here for you? Mm -hmm. For all the local sports stands out there, we got the Seminoles, the Rays, USF representing. Let's go, Lightning. I love the Lightning tree here. It's a little, uh, one of those old school ceramic trees. I love it. Definitely saluting our military. And first responders need a toilet ornament for all the plumbers out there, maybe. Eighteen ninety-five. All right, we are with Debbie, who is the resident expert of Department Fifty-Six here at Robert's Christmas Wonderland. And do you do other places other than here? No, I don't. So it's specifically here. to Robert's Christmas Wonderland. Exactly. And there's two different kinds of the Parvin 56. The, the Lemex, I guess? Lemex, Lemex is the other company. Okay. They came later, and Department 56 was the first to start out building. And you have both of them here? Yes, we do. Cool. Mm -hmm. yes. And how can you see the difference? Um, on our tickets, if you are looking, the green outline tickets are the ones that are Department 56, yes. and the red outline tickets are Lemex. Um, our Lee Max has not come in yet, so it doesn't look like there is. Oh, what we're here, you guys. Okay, very cool. And the price kind of gives it away. Gotcha. How long have you been doing Department Fifty Six? Since two two thousand one. Two thousand one. Wow, that's. that's cool. little, it has been yes. And what's your favorite part about doing this? Um. I like to start with people that come in for their first time, and they're so excited about starting their village and help them along with what their thought of was in their mind when they wanted to start a village and then going from there. Mm -hmm. Where do you get the inspiration to come up with different creative ways of doing it? Uh, that, I have not actually built these. There's a couple others here that have done that. Um, but they kind of go by which each is the village. Like we have the Hogwarts, so we have that making it look like you know, different parts of that. There's Christmas in the city, which is over on the other side, so it's more city looking. Yeah. Then we have um, Dickens, so it's more European looking English. And then this one is North Pole, so we wanted to make it look snowy. And Snow Village, Snow Village was our, was the first village first. for Department 56. Houses are larger and they're shiny and the people are big. Okay. Okay. What is your favorite part about Christmas? Everything, actually. You gotta love Christmas to work here. Yeah. You do. You gotta. Um, how do you keep it alive all year? Um, well, yes. And then, you know, after Christmas, we uh, start getting things in again, and it's new things. And so it just, ooh, we can do this with that and this with that. So it, it makes it a lot of fun, you know, because we add to different things. Like, we got the feathers there for Hogwarts, and this year we have the... Um, Grinch tree, and uh, people always love Grinch. Oh yeah, of course. And so, Nightmare Before Christmas. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, most definitely. Mm -hmm. So do you have a favorite piece? Mm -hmm. I'm kind of into the Halloween. Okay. Um, I did have Christmas in the City years ago, but we um, downsized. Okay. My husband took me to New York the first year yep. it was in 2001 as of 9-11 and mm. and so everywhere we went I bought those pieces and that right. was nice so it, yeah it was you know it was our trip so that was cool mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Well, baby, thank you so much. Thank you. To the wonderland of trees. Want a giant Santa Claus? They got him. All right, y'all. Comment below if you've ever had one of these. I know growing up, we've had these even in uh, nightlight form that we would plug into the wall and have them go like this. Merry Christmas in July. And if you guys are looking for a angel for the top of your tree or a Mickey for the top of your tree, they have plenty to choose from here. Got a little Santa Claus for the top as well. And a light up angel over here. Literally dozens of colors to choose from. If you're looking for lights, red, white, and blue, red and white, big bulbs, little bulbs, flashies. You guys need some app controlled lights as well? Some 22nd century <laughs> lights you can control with an app on your phone. They got them here too for $49.95. If you guys want a big Mickey for your home or outside, they have them here. Santa Mickey, 350 bucks. Lexi was just pointing this out. Pretty. And I just noticed they actually have a clearance table here too. Got some really cool stuff at a discounted price. Got some snowflake light ups. Got some light sets, replacement light bulbs, village accessories. Guys are looking for a really nice countdown the Christmas clock here for $1,238. You can get it. It is really nice. This is not an illusion. These are actually, if you guys remember these when you were younger, I guess they still have them today too. When you look in these, it looks totally different. I like it. Just saw these on the ground here. These fiber optic garlands. Then you got Mrs. Claus getting ready for Christmas. I'm really loving the snowman. Merry Christmas. And Dennis is here with us to talk about it. What do you guys do? Thank you for being out here. Well, we are a group of people who collect Christmas villages. We are really uh, got started with Department 56. Uh, the Roberts Christmas World was the founding fathers of our club, so we got that going many years ago. Mm. Um, we've expanded to include any kind of Christmas village collectible. Um, currently, most mostly Tampa Bay 56ers is for those that collect Department 56, and Department 56 was a segment of this group uh, many years ago that formed out of a, I think it was like a florist shop, and they built these buildings, had these buildings made, yeah. and then it expanded, and it was, the Department 56 was that segment of that business. So gotcha. it ended up with that name many years ago. Okay. But we are all big fans of these ceramic villages and making our own dioramas. And how long, you said before the 90s, how long? Oh man, been I, I've been doing it since the early 90s with my wife. Uh, Fair enough. Uh, when, when I got a Coke phone call one day when I was dating her and someone said, hey, uh, we're from the Tampa Bay 56ers, and I was thinking, well, I'm not. I'm just 40 now. What, what's my wife doing getting hooked up with this group of people who like the age of 56? Mm. <laughs> I did not know what it meant. <laughs> Come to find out years later, now I know, thoroughly know, but yeah. it, it, it's an interesting story on, uh, no, I'm not that old, but now I am. <laughs> <laughs> so you kind of look like Santa Claus. Uh -huh. Do you ever get mistaken for Santa Claus? I am Christmas performer, and sure, I don't know if I'm mistaken or if they caught the real guy. 
Ah, <laughs> so you might be Santa Claus and he's right here at Roberts, all right. So do you have a favorite piece of 56 Village? You know, one of my favorites is the Snow Village and what got me into uh, collecting with my wife um, was uh, the roller rink that they made and the Harley dealers and things like that. Because when, when I first met her, uh, I was riding a Harley. Yeah. <laughs> and the Harley ex buildings were pretty interesting. And then it got us into the Snow Village division of 56 stuff. She was in the New England Village when I met her. Okay. Because you said you drive Harleys or used to? Used to do a lot. Now it's just too crowded on the streets anymore. Yeah, yeah. What was your favorite Harley? Um, my favorite was a little Sportster I had that yeah. was really decked out. Nice little zip around town <laughs> bike. That's... It was a show bike. <laughs> there you go. Lots of chrome. And it did get me home most of the time. Very cool. Well, Dennis, thank you so much. You're welcome. Good to meet you, Steve. You as well. Thank you. Now, this is some true Christmas and July Santa Clauses right here. Santa on vacation. Santa Baker. I just want the blue and white look. Got some owls. Got some gingerbread houses as well. Really cute ones. You got three story ones. You got a single story ones. You got ones with really cool, uh, like color like roofs on. Then we also have the nativity sets here as well. Big ones, little ones. A really big one here. Is Kate? Lexi loves the kitty cat nativity set here. You may have to get that later on, but yeah. And if you guys want some countdown stuff, they have a little cute snowman and Santa Claus countdown, like dice things. So back here is the warehouse, and this is where they store all of their beautiful Christmas trees that will be eventually in your home if you come out to Robert's Christmas Wonderland and buy one of these. And these are the ones in the greenhouse out here <laughs> getting ready to debut at Robert's Christmas Wonderland. It's gonna be awesome to see what they do with these trees. Getting to talk with Santa Claus, AKA the president of the Club 56ers. That was pretty cool as well as talking with Josh. Super cool guy and what they do and everything they have here. You definitely need to come here. I've, I've literally grown up here for the past 30 years, and I can't wait to come back out here again. What you I had a good time. I personally love decorating for Christmas, and later on, we're home now. <laughs> and we are going to show you guys our little haul that we did at Robert's Christmas Wonderland, starting with... So this is actually... Oh, sorry. This is actually one of your traditions that you're starting with me, and this is something... I never knew about when I moved out here and us getting together. Um, just hold on. Did this on the lap thing. He's a pickle. And he got a pickle. Which, growing up, I always did this. So you would hide it in your Christmas tree, and whoever would find it would have to hide it. So it's not and anything else? It's like a elf on a shelf. I think it's the original elf on a shelf. <laughs> but let me know in the comments below if you guys have other ways of doing this because I don't think there's a right way to do it. I make up my own rules as I go anyway, <laughs> so that's how that works out. But it's going to be nice to start this tradition with Lex this year. Because mm -hmm. I want to the elf on the shelf, but I think it's more of kids, so. And I like pickles, so hey. <laughs> Oh, and you next? I'm from New York. And it was really neat. I don't know if you can zoom or how, what have you, but... It's the state of New York, and it has, like, different areas. Which was cool because, I mean, it showed Long Island, which I'm not too far from where I used to live. And then it even showed Hudson River, which I live off the Hudson River, so... The detail on this was absolutely gorgeous, so I couldn't not get it. And last but not least, 
since I am a cat mom, well, we have a red dog cat. Which we might actually show you in a minute. I don't know where he is right now, but. He, yeah, we may show him off, but it's, it's Chan's on a little couch. It looks so cute. And it, it, what, when I looked at it, cause the eyes are looking up, all I can think of is mom, feed me, I'm hungry. <laughs> so it's cute. And this is our baby boy Chance. <laughs> Need the microphone so we can actually hear. Are you purring? He is purring. Yeah. He's saying hi. This is probably when kid we're around. I'm hoping you guys can hear him purring. <laughs> but we've had him for five years now. At least. And he's he's going to be nine actually in a few days. Yeah. So happy birthday, Chancy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's our family. And that's Chance. Big time daddy's boy. Mm, yes. And a very crucial, critical part of Tampa Bay Steve, even though he likes to eat everything. <laughs> and he is on a special diet, so he can only have one thing. Mm -hmm. So if you see, drop in the comments just saying, if you ever see treats, urinary only, let us know. Tip it. But well, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you always know when we have a video. And thank you guys so much for watching Tampa Bay Steve. Uh, we'll see you next time. Right. If you did. Oh.